Hi there everyone, it's Misty here. Welcome to a weigh in and update video for April the 9th. I think it's the 9th. <laughs> Thursday the 9th. How the hell are you? Hope you guys are doing well. Um, it's day 962 of quarantine. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, hope you guys are doing well. I'm functioning barely um it's been a really rough week and um so yeah so let's get into it so i'm gonna start with my blood sugar numbers and then we'll talk about weight so last time i checked in with you guys my ketones were 0.8 my seven day blood sugar average was 162 my 14 day was 164 and my 30 day was 173 and today, my ketones were 0.5, my 7-day average was 154, my 14-day average was 158, and then my 30-day average was 161. So they've come down almost 10 points each. Now, my ketones came down, <clears throat> and that's because I had Velveeta. Which, if you didn't know, Velveeta is hella carby, but I wanted cheese dip. And it was the lower carb option <laughs> for me. And I know that you can make it with the heavy cream and blah, 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 blah. I didn't want to. So, <clears throat> but I finished it. I had it. It's over with. And now we're moving down the road. So my blood sugars have been really good. So good, in fact, that I dropped down to 40 units of insulin. Um, I bumped back up to 60 a couple of nights ago. But last night, I... I forgot to take a shot like it completely slipped my mind and when I woke up this morning my blood sugar was 193 and I was like what the hell did I do and then I remembered I forgot to take a shot but then I was like oh 193 that's actually not too bad with me not having any insulin last night and Rob and I have already gone back and forth about how I thought I maybe I would want to um, go ahead and just go off insulin and I decided that I'll just keep coming down gradually, keep doing what I'm doing. Um, I haven't cheated other than the Velveeta, which I don't count the Velveeta as a cheat. I just count the Velveeta as not a good option. <laughs> it probably wasn't the best option for me. Um, I have been craving lo mein like a mofo. I just, ugh. And I mentioned, I did a, um, I was live on Facebook to do my makeup look today and I mentioned that I've been craving it for a good two weeks. And every book I've read, there's someone has been eating Chinese food. Like half my friends list, someone has been eating Chinese food. And it's been really, really, really hard. It's really hard to fight those cravings. And we know, I mean, once you've been on keto for a while, you don't really have physical cravings anymore. These are all emotional cravings because it's such... And, and uh, like our lives are just completely different than what they were day by day. Now mine's not quite so much because I mostly stayed at home, but I even feel affected because like Rob's home and I just, yeah, it's been rough. So let's go ahead and talk about the weight and then I'll kind of share more. So the last time I weighed in with you guys, I was 396 and today I'm weighing in at 391. So that's a five pound loss from the last time I saw you, but I mentioned that I'd weighed 409 somewhere around the middle of, um, brain, March. So that's what, a 17 pound weight loss um, in the last three or four weeks, which that has been probably the one big reason why I haven't had Chinese food. And the second reason is, I know so many people are supporting their local restaurants and their businesses, but Rob and I have made the decision to not eat out until this blows over. And it was mostly my decision because he's, I don't know if you guys watched that doctor video I posted on the community tab here, shared it on the Facebook page, but it was a doctor who did a PSA, public service announcement about how to handle your groceries and how to keep yourself safe when you've been out and you've been you're in your handling groceries and Rob has been doing that the last few times he's gone to the grocery store and we know that you know it can live on cardboard for a few days it can live on plastic so a lot of times what restaurants send are plastic or um, 
cardboard packaging or you know styrofoam packaging or something like that so it's it's just been our decision to postpone that um you know just one more added layer of safety because as you guys know or if you don't if you're new here i am immune compromised i have myasthenia gravis i have rheumatoid arthritis <laughs> i'm on immune suppression therapy and a chemotherapy drug so and i'm type 2 diabetic excuse me so it's just not a good idea for me I, I guess it's just best if i limit the people that we come in contact with and Rob, like I say, he's leaving, we've been leaving on non-perishable food in the garage for three days. And then everything else that comes in the house, he's been washing down with bleach water. And then he will go and change his clothes, take a shower, all that good stuff. So it's like, I don't want him to be going through all that effort. And then us, you know, not be conscious of that when we're also getting, um, when we're eating out. So I'm sure when all this is over, we'll probably eat out every day for a month <laughs> because I've been cooking twice a day, which I don't mind. I mean, before the myasthenia, I love to cook and now it's just, you know, it's just a little bit of a challenge, but it's like, I'm going to want somebody else's cooking besides my own. So that's kind of how we've been fearing. I've been really struggling. I don't know. I don't know. I honestly don't know what to tell you, but there have been, like, I, I sleep so much. And I read that someone said that that's your body's response to trauma, like, because this can be traumatic for a lot of people. You know, it's very anxiety inducing. A lot of people are dealing with depression. Ooh, I got something in my eyeball. Hold on. Um, it's probably glitter. <laughs> and, um, so I'm sure that has something to do with it, but. I don't remember if it was a day last week or what. Like, I slept until 12.30. I woke up, like, it was like 7.30. And I told Rob, I was like, you know, and I didn't feel well that day. It must have been last Monday. I woke up with a splitting headache. It was really achy. And I was like, I'm just going to lay down and, you know, take a, a small nap. I took some um, allergy medicine. I slept until 12.30. <laughs> I woke up ate something and then fell asleep on the couch like at 3 30 and slept till five and then was back in bed by like nine o'clock and now I've been taking a nap every single day I've just been sleeping a lot and like I said I don't know if it's depression I don't I don't know um it's just it can be a little aggravating it is what it is though <laughs> last remnants of my bulletproof coffee so I've been sharing lots of new foods over on Instagram and Facebook if you don't follow me there. Um, I made olive bread. One of my most favorite pizzas ever is thin crust, no sauce, with black and green olives and it's just like a crispy cheesy bread. And so I used that garlic bread recipe, garlic bread recipe where it's like mozzarella, parmesan, and egg. And then I diced up a ton of olives, mixed it all together, and cooked it on a cookie sheet. You guys, that was flipping fantastic. I've been loving Parmesan crisp. I made some the other day with bacon and black pepper because I've been craving um, pasta. And sometimes when I make pasta at home, like when I'm when I was eating carbs, my favorite way to eat pasta was butter, Parmesan cheese, and bacon, and then tons of black pepper. And I was really craving that. And I'm like, well, I, three out of four I ain't bad. So those were really good. Um, I've still been eating them with the rosemary and the flax seeds. What else have I been eating? Parmesan or creams, uh, garlic cream sauce. Like I am addicted to that. And basically, I just steep a head of garlic that I have mashed up in you know a cup, cup and a half of heavy whipping cream for about an hour on very low heat. And then I drain and I leave the skins on and then I drain the sauce and we've been having that over roast. I have it over my steak. I drink it. <laughs> so it's been really, really tasty. Um, I made waffles yesterday and I'm working on perfecting that recipe. And once I have it done, I'll share it with you guys. I basically expanded on low carb yums recipe. Oh my word. <sighs> yeah, I think I have glitter in my eyeball. Um, Low carb yum, Wes High Flute and Low Carb did that pancake battle. And 
um, I really liked the ease of her recipe. So I used that as a base and kind of expanded on it. I added a few other ingredients. Um, I made half of them regular and then half of them banana walnut. Oh my word, so good. Um, I made deviled eggs. So like I've been cooking like crazy. I'm gonna make a cheesecake today in my instant pot because I've been craving cheesecake like nobody's business. So yeah, so, and like I said, they're not physical cravings. Like I don't physically crave anything. This is all in my brain, you know, wanting to medicate with food. And I'm doing my best not to. I mean, I'm 391 pounds. It's a, you know, an eight, 17 or 18 pound loss since the last time I saw you guys. That means I'm down, you know, 18 pounds for the year. And I'm doing my best not to let my emotions really run havoc. And Monday was the worst day. I found out that my grandmother, my paternal grandmother was recently diagnosed with lung cancer. And my paternal uncle recently passed away, or he may have passed away last year with lung cancer. And I don't know if you guys remember, but in April of 2018, they found a spot on my lung. And I had a CT scan and they said, you know, since I didn't have a history of lung cancer in my family, that it was probably no big deal. <laughs> so now I know that I have a history of lung cancer in my family and I am dying to get in to see the doctor so we can check it out and make sure that it's still okay. But I see my doctor on May the 4th. I th May the 4th be with you, right? Um, I think it's May the 4th. Ooh, I don't have my glasses on y'all. Uh, do, 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 do. Yes, I see him on Monday, May the 4th. Um, I'm going to see if we're still having this. I'm like, can we please have um, telemed? I'm doing telemed next Monday with my neurologist. But anyway, I digress. So now I'm concerned about this spot on my lung. Um, one of the diseases that is a neuromuscular junction disorder is called Lambert-Eaton. And when I saw my neurologist, she's like, it's either myasthenia gravis or it's Lambert-Eaton. Well, Lambert-Eaton is one of the symptoms of that is small cell lung cancer. So I, I don't know. I'm trying my hardest not to freak out. <laughs> I'm freaking out for myself, but also freaking out for her. And so it's just like that was the day that I was like, whew, it was really rough for me. And I probably slept a lot that day just so I wouldn't eat what I shouldn't and so yeah, it's been a struggle, but just trying to stay healthy, stay um, upbeat and just, you know, staying home. We, I don't leave the house. Um, I just, I just don't, I just can't. It's, it's just not worth the risk for me. Um, and I'm doing my damnedest, you know, not to put others at risk. So yeah, just social distancing as much as we can. Um, Rob is blessed that he get, he can work from home and so um, we've been really lucky there. He's been working a ton of overtime. We're trying to pay off um, the foundation repairs that we had last year. Once we do that, we will only have one more consumer debt other than our mortgage. And then after that, we're going to get a new bathroom. So it's like I'm trying to get as out of debt as much as I can and um, while still trying to have an emergency fund <laughs> through all of this, you know, and worried about having a possible recession and just, I mean, there's just so much to worry about. And if I sat around and worried all day, I would lose my mind. So I've been reading a lot. I mentioned that before. I love to read. Um, in fact, I've had to charge my, it's been like, I've been charging my phone three times a day because I will read until it's about dead plug it in, read some more. Um, I'm sure my screen time is like, I don't know, 18 hours. Let's look. Where's the screen time? Screen time. Yeah, I'm averaging like nine, nine hours a day on my phone. And it's just me reading on my Kindle app because I don't have, I mean, I have a Kindle, but it's 902 years old. So yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I hope where you are that you're safe and you're secure and that you have a support system and that you're just doing as much as you can. And I think one thing during all of this is to be kind to yourself. You know, if you go off plan or if you have a couple of cheat days, 
you know, don't beat yourself up for it. This is a really emotionally taxing time. And a lot of us, you know, rely on food as an emotional crutch. And that's, it just is what it is. We either shop, which a lot of us can't do unless you're online shopping, you know, or we're eating. Some people, you know, drink, those kinds of things. So just, just know that it'll be okay if you go off one or two days. Just get right back on the horse. You know, just keep going. Do what you need to do. Um, like I always say, if you have, if you're craving something and you have the choice between something that is horrible for keto and something that is okay, <laughs> I always advocate choose the okay. You know what I mean? Just choose the, you know, choose an option that will help you and it won't get you off track too much. So fight the good fight with me. Like I said, I've been craving lo mein for two weeks. Did I mention that in this video? I don't remember. I've been craving lo mein for two weeks two weeks and everything I've re read, all the pictures on Facebook and Instagram, people are eating Chinese food. <laughs> I'm like, ah. So yeah, and if I had gotten on the scale and there hadn't been any kind of loss, I probably would have been more tempted. Um, and I may be up next time I weigh. I'm not gonna weigh in the next two weeks. Dallas weather is gonna be stupid. Let me pull this up. Like we're getting a really big cold front next week. Like it's been in the 80s the last couple of days. Today it's going to be in the 70s. And then like Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, it's going to be like in the 50s with lows in the 30s. And it's like, uh, my body, my body. Um, I've been, I just have so much inflammation. And I take a water pill every day. Um, but it's just, it just is what it is at this point. Like that's why I don't weigh every day. I haven't done my measurements either. Rob and I need to do that. But like I said, I just haven't had the energy or the desire to do much of anything. So I'm doing my best. One foot in front of the other. That's all we can do, right? Take things one day at a time. So anyway, that's enough rambling for me this week. Hope you guys are doing well. I tried to go live on Instagram. Instagram is broken, I think. But um, I'll try to check in again um, next week. I won't have a meal video for you guys on Monday because I haven't really cooked dinner we've been eating like midday or i've been eating like midday um doing one meal a day so um but i'll try to get back on that next week and yeah hopefully i'll be able to make that waffle recipe for you guys and share it um and i'll try to do that pizza recipe and share with you guys but anyway hope you guys are feeling great holding on take deep breaths um if it gets too much if you get too anxious you know, find something to do, whether you can color, um, you know, meditate, read, whatever you need to do to take care of you, because that's just as important. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.